Well, hello friends. This is the sixth painting in our Sacred Dwelling series, and it's entitled Redemption. And that conveys the thought of recovering a possession by buying something back, or even buying someone's freedom. Before we explain the message of the painting, I'd like to share a story that illustrates redemption in a wonderful way. Tom built himself a little boat. And oh, how it sailed. But suddenly a strong current caught the boat and he, he tried to pull it back to shore, but the stream broke and he watched as his boat sailed down the stream. He chased after it, and, and but, but finally it slipped out of sight. He, all afternoon, he searched for it and finally it got too dark and he went home. And he was so sad he had lost his little boat. And then the next day, or a few days later, as he was way, on his way home from school, he spotted his little boat in a store window. And he ran in and he told the store manager, this is my boat. I made it. And the store manager said, I'm, I'm so sorry, but someone else brought it in. If you want it, you'll have to pay a dollar to get it back. So Tom raced home and he counted his money. He found out he did have a dollar, so he rushed back to the store and told the man, here's the dollar, I want to buy my boat back. And as he walked out of the store, he hugged his little boat and he said, now you're twice mine. First I made you and now I've bought you. And that is exactly what God did for us. He created us, then we were lost, and then he bought us back at the cost of his own son. So let's go to the painting. As light cascades through broken clouds on a cold and rainy day, filling the historic church in the Smoky Mountains with warmth, the traveler is on the road to redemption, and the way has been cleared for him to pass. The fallen tree that had blocked the muddy road forms the cross. That's the place where Jesus paid the price for our redemption. The Spirit symbolized by the dove, has called and enabled us to read and understand the Bible that he carries in his hand. The Bible teaches that we have all sinned and that sin has caused us to be lost and away from our Creator and in need of a Redeemer. So our scripture memory verse confirms this great gift. In him we have redemption through his blood, the forgiveness of sins, in accordance with the riches of God's grace. Ephesians 1, 7. <clears throat> have you walked the road of redemption and experienced the joy of being redeemed? <laughs> when you do, you become one of the Lord's sacred dwellings filled with his spirit ready to proclaim this offer of redemption in a world that desperately needs to hear this message of hope. Redeemed how I love to proclaim it Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb Redeemed through His infinite mercy his child and forever I am Redeemed, redeemed Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb Redeemed, redeemed His child and forever I am I know I shall see in His beauty The King in His love delight Guardeth my footsteps and giveth me songs in the night. Redeem, redeem, redeem by the blood of the Lamb. Redeem, redeem. 